before do this remove all the battery okay first let's start with a uh, screwdriver and spudger so remove the two screw down there then keep it somewhere else where you say they'll lose it okay then i'm gonna use spudger before that i'm gonna use some bubble wrap to put on the desk and put the calculator on the bubble wrap so it won't go away and having some smooth surface so then i use spudger to do that use spudger to pry open at the corner of the ti link to down there have two clips so try to open if you open it first time it's gonna take a lot of effort to do that you're gonna try again try again over and over until you can get it popped you might need few try but it's gonna work Okay, go a little bit, don't use much force, you can break it, it's very fragile. So you can rotate around, so you can have some good viewing angle. Yeah, I go through that. To go through to the side uh, clip is very hard, you need to take a lot of force. And take care of it a lot don't do it too fast otherwise you will hurt yourself it's very hard there this few time it's gonna work. try to switch from the left side to right side maybe if you can get the right the left is easy Okay, now I try to open only the right side, left. Okay, again, again, and again, and over. Okay, it's popped out. It's very hard. Do it again with another side because it just snapped back in. It's just easy, yeah, can get it out. On the top part, it has a two clip, but you want to lift it up, yeah, it's just fine. Okay, just cleaning things up a bit. So this is a driver module that way I will put and it's fit. And yeah, it fit very good design. Let's check again. Yep, it fit. So here it goes. Just open this up using a Philip head screw. So take off this uh, shielding. And you can take it off very easy.